Log in to BandLab and load up your song. Notice that I now have six versions saved. And you'll see here that these circles are no longer in a straight line. This diagram represents the fact that after creating a chorus I didn't like, I decided to go back to a previous version. Then I branched out and created a new chorus. The last version I worked on is always shown in green. Your last version will always appear at the top and you can check by hovering over the date when exactly you created it. Click on the little white microphone. Listen to your song from the beginning. The break is just four bars long, running from bar 25 to 29. In the introduction, we created a slow build-up. Then came the big chorus, so we have reached a peak. We are now going to bring the song down before we start building it up again. That is the job of the break. We only need three or four loops in it, as we literally are just taking a short break from the main song. The break can sound a little different from the verse and the chorus. Let's start with the beat. We're going to explore the search function to do this, as we can quickly find what we're looking for. To find the search function, we need to go to loops, scroll down to the pack that you've used. And here we see search loops. So here I'm going to type in beat. And straight away, all the beats appear. Okay, that's the one I like, so I'm going to bring it down here and drop it there. And you notice it's on the beat track. And I'm going to start from bar 25, which I'm exactly on. The break is only four bars long, so it automatically finishes here at bar 29. Now I did say, why don't you type in the beat, all the beats appear in the search. However, all the beats appear with the word beat in. Now I've noticed that if I remove the word beat and have a look at all the beats and the grooves available, we'll see here Groove Factory. So one thing to be aware of is the fact that if you type in beat, some of the names of the actual beats might not contain the word beat. As an example, the Groove Factory, and there may be some more as well. So whilst it's quick, it may not be comprehensive. So that's my beat. I want two more loops. I think I'm gonna be looking for a synth uh, but this time I'm not going to type in synth because I may not find the one I'm after. Thank you. 
I like that. So let's try it. I'm going to put it on a synth track. Here's one of the top guitar synth or keys. Let's have a listen to those together. Okay, that sounds good. The last loop I'm going to use is, I think, an effects sample. So let's first of all, let's try the search engine. That's quite interesting. I think I'm going to give that a try. I'm bringing it down here. And that's because this is the effects track. And I want to keep all the effects on the same track, all the beats, all the bass, and all the guitars, synths, or keys. Let's have a listen. On bar 25. I'm going to make a note of the samples I've used. So I'm going up to lyrics. And let's type in the break. So the beat was East Beat 02. The synth I used was DNC ARP and the effects was FX Vox. I can close that now. Don't forget to save your work. I'm happy with those samples, but there are a number of edits that I want to make to make my break a little more dramatic and interesting. Watch the next video to find out how to use automation volume and panning, as well as some advanced slicing tricks.